Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the 6th through the 7th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. What do we have for Cancer today? Mm, the Knight of Cups. Going towards things that interest you and really not let anything get in your way. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you guys first and foremost. Not letting anything impede you. But um, someone is definitely trying to, is what I'm feeling here, okay? Someone's trying to, um, but I think that you will maneuver around this. Um, there's somebody I feel like wants to fight for you. Somebody wants to, to stop you and say, hey, um, I have to tell you something. I love you. Don't go. You know, that sort of thing here. Somebody that probably was not very transparent with you before probably hit their feelings a lot. Somebody that you probably argue with, um, you know, a lot before here. Okay. Ten of Swords there. Yeah. Um... This is somebody I feel like who feels, they feel stabbed in the back. They feel betrayed by you. They feel let down by you. And um, it's like, what I'm, what I'm getting here is that this person probably is, has a hard time accepting responsibility for themselves is what I'm getting here. It's almost like they felt like you were supposed to be a mind reader. Okay, and and really not holding themselves accountable for how they behaved with you. But when you decide that you're not doing this anymore, it's like, um, then you're wrong. Okay, is what I'm getting. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're just trying to go towards things that make you happy. That's it. That's it. And um, fill your own cup. Hmm. But there's definitely somebody that's trying to block it, though. There's somebody that's trying to block it. Somebody that's very kind of aloof. Um, comes across very non-emotional. Maybe, maybe an Aquarius individual. Um, yeah. They're trying to block it. And I feel like you do have feelings for this person. And I feel like, you know, there, there's a part of you that will always love this person or feel like you love this person, care for this person. Um, but there's a lot of confusion, a lot of, of things that you don't know about this person that, that you're not comfortable with. You're just not comfortable with it. Okay. This is somebody I feel that maybe you 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 thought that they were out there doing other things with other people. Um, they were keeping their options open, hiding a lot of things from you. Somebody that you felt very hurt by. You know, at the same time, it's like you still have these feelings because, you know, your feelings just don't go away like that. They also feel like you have options. Like you're trying to get out there and date. And it's like, hold up, where are you going? Nine of Swords. Mm. Hmm. They think about this a whole lot. This is somebody that they stay in their damn head, to be honest with you. And and I feel like, you know, this person is is very confused. They are there's something going on with them. There's something going on with them. Not just mentally, um, psychologically is what I'm feeling here. Hmm. You guys may be dreaming about each other. Um, I feel like this person is probably having um, maybe nightmares, night terrors. Uh, yeah, there's, there's something going on with this person. They don't want you to move on. They think about this a whole lot. Let me get some clarifiers here. Because this is... Um, they're not trying to see the truth either. They're not trying to see the error in their ways. We have the Queen of Swords there. I feel like that's you guys. Hmm. 
Let's see what this Seven of Cups is about. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Seven of Cups is being clarified by the freaking Seven of Cups, guys. Hmm. There's there's some mental there's some mental issues going on here. I feel um, emotional instability. Knave of Pentacles. Oh wow. Okay. Death. Scorpio energy there. This person. You know, what I'm getting now is that, you know, maybe this person was <laughs> really thought they were the shit and um, thought they could have whoever they wanted, when they wanted. And I think the fact that, um, the fact that you are kind of removing yourself from this, um, It, it's got them it's got them really confused about you know if they really are the shit <laughs> okay and they don't know what you're doing they feel like you are changing and moving on transforming and you know just just being the best to you and they are not liking that they are wanting to block your progress why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here The Eight of Cups. Somebody that walked away. Somebody that walked away feeling like, you know, they couldn't be happy with you before. Hmm. Now wants to come back. They now want to come back. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? This person's full of themselves. They're very delusional here. And I feel like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. The Knight of Swords. Oh yeah. And the Four of Wands. Um, this is somebody that I feel they went out. They did whatever they wanted to do. And when you have taken your hands off of it and are moving on towards, you know, in a different direction, then here they come. Here they come with this Knight of Swords wanting to impede you and possibly leaving um, whatever connection behind that they went to, that they walked away from you to go towards, to come back and impede your progress is what I'm getting here. But this is also their, um, their stability. I don't feel like this person is stable. I don't feel like this person's stable. I feel like this person's very aggressive, very angry. Um, I feel like they think that they can have um, whatever, whenever. I feel like they were very elusive. They weren't honest with you. Um, they kept a lot of things from you. I feel like they think about you day and night. Um, they feel like wholly betrayed by you when I feel like they're the ones that actually, you know, did a lot of the, the, the betraying. To be honest with you, they they they're in their head a whole lot. They're in their head a whole lot, but I don't get that it's like reasonable is the thing here. Okay, I don't I don't think it's reasonable. Hmm. There's so, there's something that they've become aware of here. Look at this. They want to be with you. That's the bottom line. They want to be with you. Hmm. Let's see what you will do. For some of you, you are definitely um, going to try to work on this thing with this person because, again, I feel like you guys love this person. And you feel like you can make this work. With the Three of Pentacles and Two of Cups, you feel like you can make this work. We have Capricorn here, Aries, Leo, um, Gemini is strong here, Scorpio energy. Let 
Yeah. Hmm. You guys be careful because you know there there's something that is um there's something that's not quite right here. All right, guys. So just be careful with your movements and um, with this individual because I feel like I feel a very aggressive energy, and an overly anxious energy. Somebody that thinks a whole lot and and in thinking a whole lot, I feel like they try to they're trying to avoid changing themselves. Um, they're, they're trying to figure out, I feel, how they can win you back. But I just wonder if it's like, if it's truly genuine. But, you know, you guys use your discernment on how you handle this situation. Because I do feel like this person's coming back and they're coming back soon. They're coming in hot and heavy is what I'm getting here, okay? They're coming in hot and heavy. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I will be speaking with you soon.